Milwaukee regarding uh, Milwaukee County Stadium. Little did anyone know that we would uh, be out here at a tailgate party this Sunday instead of uh, tucked at home uh, watching the Green Bay Packers. On Thursday, I indicated that we were at a historic juncture in the future of baseball in Milwaukee and the future of uh, Milwaukee County Stadium and the construction of a new stadium. And I indicated further that it was time for the people of Milwaukee County and of the entire state of Wisconsin to stand up and be counted. Little did I realize that three days later, we'd be standing here in front of the stadium, listening to what I believe is a very generous offer to allow the people of Milwaukee County and of the state to do just that. Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Brian Morello. Brian? I'd like to thank the county executive for coming today. Um, I think this proposal will prove worthwhile and something that uh, should help out. So we appreciate your support in coming down and hope it's something that the, the city, the county, and the state can utilize. Our uh, family business has always been concerned with the community and we feel that uh, we need to give back to the communities that give to us and we've always felt that to be important. Uh, it's never been as high profile as this possibly, but we have always felt that's important. I think that's evidenced by our work we've done in our central city here in Milwaukee. Uh, we've done programs such as the Shoes for Kids, where uh, at the Martin Luther King Center we donated 500 pairs of shoes to the needy uh, children of the city, and several other things that we've done in the past. Uh, with the Casa Maria House, we donated uh, Christmas gifts for the homeless and tried to make their Christmas holiday uh, a nice one and one that would be a, a pleasurable one. So we have always had a commitment to the communities that we're in. Um, that brings us to today. Today we're faced with what we perceive from the media as being a critical juncture uh, in Milwaukee. Uh, we are in jeopardy of potentially losing the Milwaukee Brewers. I think the Milwaukee Brewers represent uh, a real rallying point for this city. It breaks all ethnic, religious, cultural age barriers. It's a real rallying point and everyone uh, has fondness for professional sports. I think we'd all agree that hardly a day goes by where we don't have some sort of communication with our friends and relatives about whatever professional sports team that we follow, whether it be the Brewers, the Bucks, or the Green Bay Packers. So I think it's important, and I think it's important to realize what this franchise really means to this city. And that's why we've come up with this proposal. So let's cut to the chase and tell you a little bit about what we've decided to put on the table. We are the representatives for the G. Heilman Brewing Company, the proud brewers of old style beer, and the Pabst Brewing Company with the ever popular Pabst Blue Ribbon. We supply that beer throughout the state and especially in this market here in Milwaukee County and we service the county stadium with those products. What we would like to offer to help pull this impasse together between the county board and the brewers is to furnish that beer for the 91 season free of charge. Estimates of consumption in a season at the Brewer Stadium is 25,000 half barrels. Our selling price is approximately $40, so if they were to take our offer to the fullest, there would be a million dollars of revenue that would be available to bridge the impasse that currently is existing between the Brewers and the County Board. Um, that's basically the proposal. Um, the mechanics of how it would be run still need to be worked out and in all fairness to the county executive this is fairly new to him and we haven't worked through all those details but we would imagine some type of foundation being set up where our family a representative from the brewers potentially and someone from the the county would be involved in uh, communicating and deciding how this money best be used to serve its ultimate purpose which is to keep the Milwaukee Brewers here in Milwaukee where they rightfully belong. 
Um, we would also like to take this one step further and how this manifests itself ultimately is not clear at this point, but also offer a challenge to the rest of the community, both corporate and individual citizens, to come forward and recognize the value of this franchise to our community and see if they can't come up with some other ways to also contribute and make sure certain that this franchise stays here in Milwaukee. At this time, that capsulizes what we'd like to propose and we'd open it up to questions and right, try to comment. Idea. The idea was uh, come up with by my father, Ralph Morello, uh, Thursday evening and we got together Friday morning uh, in our offices and tossed it around a little and brainstormed about it and decided that it, it was uh, something that we were fortunate enough to be able to do and decided that uh, timing was of the essence because of the nature of this, this impasse and that we would come forward with it immediately as we have today. Uh, it's obviously a good citizen step of good citizenship, but also there's some positive impacts you hope for your business. Well, certainly we're in business to make a profit and anything that we can do to positively impact this community positively impacts our business. And we're uh, fortunate enough to represent uh, truly great breweries with G. Heilman and Old Style and Pabst Brewing Company and Pabst Blue Ribbon. And uh, there may well be some positive impacts that the people that also want the brewers to stay in town might reciprocate and use our product when they choose to drink beer. So that's, that's also a plus, no doubt about it. You said the details of this uh, have not been worked out yet, but it's possible that a foundation will be set up. Is this something that will be decided between uh, your company and uh, the county? The players have not yet be, been determined exactly who would be involved, but certainly we would encourage the county executive to get involved and anyone, any other interested parties. And how the uh, foundation is actually set up is still at issue also. But uh, hopefully within the next week to two weeks we would have some more details and be able to come to you with that information. Could I add something to that? From what we've read, the need for, for money is more from the public side. The brewers have know what they want to do. They're going to build their stadium. The taxpayers and the public are where the impasse, where the shortfall of money is. So we're looking more to do something to set up a fund that will help the county, et cetera, to overcome the public need more than the brewers need here. So that's, when, I, when we read the paper, we see what they need, we saw an opportunity where at least the shortfall initially or could be somewhat covered by our company and that's why I came forward with this and gave it to uh, my son and the rest of the management people in our place who thought it was a positive step and we went ahead with it. Actually this all evolved from Friday morning from Thursday's uh, paper. So you know where the money's going to go to, it's just a matter of what the mechanism is, uh, how the money is funneled back to the county. Uh, basically we would uh, business as usual with the stadium, we would sell them the product as we have, the revenues would be generated back to us, and then we'd set them into a fund of some type administered by the county, the brewers, and whoever interested parties wanted to be. I think that we will work out the mechanisms of those later. Ralph, but, is, this a, is this a big impact on your company? Is it a huge percentage of your, uh, of your annual business? Uh, the county stadium? Yeah. Uh, we're a fairly sizable uh, distributor. It's not a huge uh, impact in total volume of sales. However, it's a substantial amount of money, yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's an impact. It's going to take some uh, extra work and effort from our loyal employees to overcome this, but I think they are all in favor of it. I mean, we did talk to some of them before we went ahead with this. County Executive, now you've heard some of the proposals. What's your reaction to that? Well, first of all, I think that uh, Brian Morello may very well be a candidate for public office someday. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know that I've ever heard anyone quite so articulately explain uh, really the genesis of an idea. 
Clearly, I am not in a position to advocate uh, the consumption of any particular product that's sold at Milwaukee County Stadium. And clearly, there are other beers sold at Milwaukee County Stadium other than those that the Beloit Beverage Company distributes. Nevertheless, I think it's a, ge a gesture of incredible selfishness. Moreover, I think that the Morello family's willingness to bring this forward clearly in a, in a, 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 a an accelerated time frame I think is responsive to what they perceive to be uh, a fact that we need to we need to quickly establish that we're either going to have baseball here in Milwaukee or we're not. And I think that you know that the, the I's will be dotted and the T's will be crossed. As far as I'm concerned, any program that I'm involved with has full accountability for the expenditure of any funds, as, because I, as an elected official, am accountable to the public. But I think it recognize it, it it shows a keen recognition of the problem on behalf. Uh, of the Beloit Beverage Company and the Morello family, which runs it. And it also recognizes, a, I think, an unselfish willingness to step forward and become involved and to make a statement and to take a stand. And I think that's really what's important. And I think that uh, this can serve as a rallying point. This can serve as a starting point for individuals and businesses across this city, across this county, and across this state to stand up in a similar fashion. And uh, I really accept it at face value as, as a, a generous statement on behalf of, you know, after all, we are in America. This is a private sector company. But I want to make sure that I emphasize that the reason the Milwaukee Brewers want to build a new stadium is because they're not comfortable with the level of county government interference in their affairs. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that my uh, participation in this generous program should not be at all interpreted to constitute any interference in the affairs of the brewers or of their private concessionaire sports service of Wisconsin. Instead, I'm really taking the symbolic value of it and the money value of it and saying, let's drive forward from here. And I want to thank the Morellos and all of their employees. Uh, I'm sure they didn't have to. Well, that was one of the best sausage I've ever tasted, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I want to thank them for, for, their, for their event and, and for their generous support. And uh, now, uh, if you don't mind, I hope we all can get home and warm up our tootsies and watch the Packer games. Mr. Morello, thank you very much. Nice job. Man.